So my shout outs for this video upload go to Mr. Cola Roaster, Aaron Goddard, Thorax Changeling, Greenflower9106 and Nash of Logs. If you want a shout out in our next video, please comment down below. And now let's get into this theme park newsroom update. Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Child, Doncaster born but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be checking out the latest construction officially from the park from Mystic River Falls at Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri, America. Now this is currently scheduled to open in the summer of 2020, uh, of course you know the COVID-19 outbreak will decide otherwise however it's still currently on track to be a summer opening this year um, so Mystic River Falls is this brand new uh, attraction with a fully themed story a full refurbishment of the original area it's sat in uh, we're gonna be sharing you all the recent construction and along with that we're gonna be sharing with you uh, the official stats for the ride and also the manufacturer and a bit of history around the site uh, for those of you who are new to the channel uh, so before we get started guys please like the video if you've loved it please comment down below your thoughts down below please subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video please share with your friends your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your shout outs in down below as you saw at the start of this video make sure you get your video suggestions in as well and also make sure you get in your questions because our questions Questions will be very very helpful for our subscriber question and answer session use the hashtag question before or after your question and those will be for our 2000 subscriber video and for now guys let's get into this video so let's talk about Mystic River Falls and the latest construction at Silver Dollar City in Branson Missouri so originally on the site was Rube Dugan's Diving Bell, which was a Jules Verne style fantasy submarine simulation ride, the first simulation ride of its kind. Disney Imagineers told Silver Dollar City it would be hard to do one, but advised them on how to create the attraction. It was moved, removed in the mid-1980s to make room for the Lost River of the Ozarks. Now, the Lost River of Rose Arcs was a rapids ride containing six inner tube shaped boats, six people. Signage caution riders would get the bathtub wet, and it was constructed on the former site of the Diving Bell attraction, opening on May the 4th, 1985, at a cost of $2 million. And it was demolished following the 2018 season and is set to be replaced with Mystic River Falls. This is a brand new rapids ride with the tallest rapids drop in the Western Hemisphere. This is manufactured by RES, which stands for Ride Engineers Switzerland, and also is designed and manufactured by Bar Engineering. Now, Mystic River Falls contains many different sections, with the all-new Rivertown area surrounding the ride, as well as an 82-foot tall lift tower, half a mile river journey more than five minutes long, Elevated river channel more than six stories tall and 180 feet long with the tallest raft ride drop in the western hemisphere at 45 feet and along with that the Rivertown Smokehouse rounds off the brand new area containing the Mystic River Falls attraction. In the latest construction the park have been testing the ride along with the elevator elements. Now with summer going fast and on the horizon of its ending it's very very clear the park wants to get this open for the summer of 2020 and with this testing footage and testing picture the park is certainly on its way to opening it in the summer of 2020. So that my friends is the latest construction on Mystic River Falls at Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. Now I've documented this ride for a long time, ever since this project first got off the ground and in fact, a bit of a fact for those of you who are new to the channel, I believe it's the first video we ever did on this has now got nearly 2,300 views which is unbelievable so thank you guys so so much for that it really means a lot that these videos get loads and loads of views whether it's the hundreds whether it's the thousands I really appreciate the views these videos are getting and you know that was when we first covered Mystic River Falls this was when we first covered the project when I first talked about what could replace Lost River of the Ozarks before we knew anything about this and then documenting the teasing process the marketing process and then doing the two videos officially releasing the um, teaser trailer in a separate video 
and then doing another longer video analysing the brand new rides. So, you know, documenting this whole process from the first rumours to the construction uh, to the announcement and the marketing, it's been a brilliant process to go through and the fact that this could pretty much be the last construction news update or any kind of news update on Mystic River Falls. Again, like Vatika at Lyrecre de Toquiora as the Gerstar Eurofighter, this has been an exciting project and over the last year, it's been great doing these videos. Now, I want to sort of talk about that more a little bit later, the fact that this is the last update on Mystic River Falls before the official opening, unless any other construction comes in as well. Um, but before we go on with that, let's talk about what we saw with the construction. So you saw a teaser picture and you saw like a Twitter video officially from the park. So big shout out to Silver Dollar City for that footage and picture. Um, so the teaser picture shows the raft, an empty raft going down uh, the drop. Um, and it looks very, very cool, doesn't it? It looks really, really cool. And I think that uh, Silver Dollar City have really outdone themselves with this specific attraction. Um... Obviously, the Twitter video showed some testing with the water in the in the trough. Uh, and again, I think it looks really cool. I think this is going to be a very good-looking attraction. Uh, and, I, and I mentioned this in the analysis, but one of the main things for me is the overall experience. It's the story, the theming, and I think it all comes together and it all complements itself really, really well. Uh, so I think that this is going to be an exciting new attraction for the park. This is going to be a brilliant investment for Silver Dollar City. And I think that Misty River Falls is going to be the park to watch uh, this year when the parks do reopen. Uh, and of course when Silver Dollar City does get the green light to open, uh, I'm sure that this attraction will be right there ready for guests to come in this season. Uh, and then, you know, fully next season. So I think that this is going to be a brilliant attraction. I think that... Um, Silver Dollar City have got uh, their target market in place with this attraction. I think it covers pretty much all ages. Uh, and it's a really good family raft ride. And that's been the main thing for me when it comes to replacing Lost River of the Ozarks. Which has been around the park since the 1980s. It's, been, it's all about replacing it with a family thrill attraction. Something that delivers the same thrills as Ozarks did. But deliver that family fun that it did as well. So it's all about getting the balance right with the target market of this attraction. And they've definitely got the, the target market. And they've definitely got the thrill level exactly right. For paying homage to Ozarks. But delivering a new modern thrill. And Mystic River Falls fits that bill. And I spoke about how... Uh, covering this was I can't believe we've covered this project for about a year now so or just over a year so it's been an honor to cover this project like all the other ones and all the other ones set to come over the next couple of years on this channel and I think that Mystic River Falls at Silver Dollar City is definitely the right replacement for Lost River of the Ozarks you know I think one of my predictions was an Infinity Falls style uh, rapid drive with a drop uh, that was one of my predictions and of course I got like right didn't I I got the uh, the drop right and the fact that it's the tallest drop in the Western Hemisphere it's definitely a record breaker which is great for Silver Dollar City because it means that you know they're breaking ground and they're, they're shattering records here with this uh, and it's a great ride to have uh, in that area of the country and also for the park themselves. So it's a historic ride uh, to replace a historic attraction. So, you know, they've done really good with this project. And as you saw from the teaser picture and the testing video on, from Twitter, uh, officially from the park, um, Silver Dollar City have got this exactly right. So I can't wait to see when the announcement date is going to be held. I think that will probably be the final video on this project. The fact that when they announce the uh, and out like the opening date for this ride, so uh, that's going to be a very emotional video. I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a very emotional video to do because it'll be my final video on this project. But in terms of construction, this is probably the final video uh, in terms of construction. But of course, when the date comes out for the official opening, that'll be the uh, last update on the Mystic River Falls, kind of like Vatika at Lorette Cray when I spoke about the opening date for that ride and the fact that it was opening on that Saturday. Uh, that's just got that's gone a couple of weeks ago so you know it'll be an emotional video for sure so uh thanks for sticking with this project over the last year on the channel over the last nearly one and a half years on the channel and thank you so so much for being a part of this so thank you very much for watching what is probably going to be the final construction update on mystic river falls from silver dollar city it's been lovely covering it 
And uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Uh, make sure you get your merchandise in. I put a post in the community, and that'll be for our part two video where I get to share five pieces of merchandise from me and also your merchandise. We've had a few sent in already, uh, but make sure you go and send in uh, your ones as well. We'll keep doing it week after week, and we'll, we'll keep doing an episode every couple of weeks. So uh, we've got lots of merchandise to share with you on the channel as well. So thank you very much, guys. Make sure you check out the community post. Keep us updated for more things that you can interact the channel with. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.